In this video, Gilbert and I talk about his routine. We nail down his niche. We nail down his two-year plan to make money from something that he loves to do, his interests, his desires, his passions, and we nail down how he can start making money this week because a little while ago he lost his job and has to start making money. Hope this helps you. Crafting your preferable life one day at a time is what we're doing here, and whenever you can monetize from you, that's when you win. Hit subscribe, hit the bell, listen to this conversation with Gilbert, and follow along. So catch me up. I think that what you've been working on is, uh, I call it determining your assets, and uh -huh. I think that's, um, hope that's self-explanatory, and you yeah. have been try, trying out and dialing in your routine and kind of where you're at is what is the next step? What is the next stage in assessing my assets and mm -hmm. dialing in my routine? And is, is that kind of where you're at? Catch me up. Yeah, yeah, that's where I'm at. So, and one of my assets is that I'm creative. So I need, I need like art. I need like music. I need those things to to function properly. Like as, as weird as it sounds, if I don't have like, you know, music and cool pictures, uh, I don't function. So I've always been really tyrannical in myself towards my self talk. Like, oh, come on, it's 500 words, you piece of crap. You can, you can do 500 words. Like what are you in middle school? Cause, ah, you know, like I just yell at myself a lot. Um, and it's like once I started being honest with myself about the things that I needed, it just all kind of like cropped up. And I was like, you know what would be cool? Writing something. I should write something right now. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to figure out is how to like, uh, instead of like plan, is to like cultivate it and like, you know, grow the flowers and bushes and uh and then like trim them back into shapes okay so i'm gonna have a uh, uh five things that i'm gonna spend 95 percent of my time doing and then that will turn into my to-do list so whatever the thing is it has to fit into one of those five categories so my thought is to include my whole life right i just don't want to like uh, being holistic is real important to me. So I don't want to just be about work. Like I want to include all the junk uh, in my little plan. And then every day we'll have a five thing to-do list. And if I do all five things and I can start back. So say I have 10 things to do. Uh, I'll start on five and I'll have to do one of every five before I can do a second one in the first category. So that's, that's my rough plan right now. Uh, but my to-do list is actually like six things because I still have to like drive two places. I still have to like go to the bathroom. I still have to uh, get groceries, you know? So I have 5% that I can spend on mismatched junk. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of where I'm at. Show us your uh, ball thing that you're standing on. <laughs> sure. So it's like a tabletop, a router to hole. This is just a softball. <laughs> so when you, when you sit it down, it teeters. And then you put your feet on either side and hold yourself steady. So <laughs> did you kind of uh... line it up and then... Stand on it and boom. So yeah. I'm still not like great balance wise. So I kind of hold on one hand onto the table. But a couple times there, I let go of it. No hands. <laughs> and that's about as long as I can do it for. Cool. Well, I really like the kind of phase three of dialing in your creative spirit, but being productive. Mm -hmm. from that creative spiritness, and that's that's really cool that you have experienced the one end of the spectrum 
and then yeah. experience the other end of the spectrum. And now you're kind of trying in the middle. And mm -hmm. so phase five or six somewhere is probably yeah. where probably where it's going to like just sit and be cranking and rocking. So yeah, I feel, I feel like if I can get some sort of a lattice to grow the tomatoes on. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Like that's, I want the thing and then I want the other thing to grow on it. Yeah. And that, that to me is like what I'm kind of shooting for. Yeah. Wish there was uh, two words we could put together that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Explain that sort of like a uh, wavy yeah. structuredness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Let, let's take a step back and you're here in this spot because of a job situation. Yeah. And um, kind of catch us up to from that point. And what, what's it been now? Two and a half, three months? Yeah, I'm at uh, 16 weeks. 16 weeks? Okay, what's the four? Yeah. Months? Okay, wow. Okay, so day number three from... Mm -hmm. Okay, well, well let, let us know 16 weeks, weeks ago what happened. Okay, so 16 weeks ago, I got uh, laid off from work. So I do construction, I do glass, and uh, things were slowing down. And they basically told me, like, look, six weeks will... Uh, you know, the shipment of doors will come in and then this will be happening and then this job should be taking off and then we'll have some more stuff. Uh, and then six weeks comes and goes and then, oh, that job isn't raining. It's been raining. The foundations aren't poured. Uh, and then eight weeks comes along and then it's, uh, well, the doors came in, but they were wrong. And, you know, that other shipment of glass isn't here and we're having to redo something on this job. So we're not quite ready. Uh, so by week eight or nine, uh, no, actually probably like week 10, I was just kind of like, you know what? I can't, I can't wait anymore. I've done all the waiting that I can do. So that was kind of the, the first part of it. And around that time I was trying to, I don't know, just figure out what was happening at all, like with, myself and my job and the family. Uh, so around week 10, I kind of decided just, okay, let's see what else, let's see what else is out there. Like, let's see what I can do and what a good day for me would look like. Cool. So that's whenever this uh, kind of building your workstation, trying out, uh, harnessing the creativity and, and so you're, kind of six-ish weeks into that kind of process. And yeah. that, that catches us up to where we are today. Mm-hmm. Cool. I'd say so. And uh, routine kind of stuff, what, what have you been dialing in during that time for yourself? And what's the next phase of your routine, daily routine look like? So uh, I've been dropping the kids off at school and stuff. So that's kind of like a hard a hard time, like a, a hard line. Uh, this happens every day at this time. So sometimes I wake up a little bit early. Sometimes I don't, uh, but I always wake up, say like seven. Uh, I've been meditating 10 days now and uh, get ready to take the girls to school and then I'll come back and then I'll clean up for like half an hour with the music cranking. And then I'll come to the computer and start doing some stuff. Um, and then the, I have to pick up the girls at three. So that's another hard line. Uh, we have a kid in high school, a kid in middle school and another one that just started like an advanced program. So we have tons of homework. So we made a new thing where uh, from four to six every day, it is quiet time, study time, Boom, nothing gets in the way of this. Uh, so the last, so yesterday and the day before, I don't know why I didn't have the idea, but I just went, oh wait, why don't I do stuff during quiet time? Because everybody is already studying. Yeah. So I'll just come over here. Like I was, I don't know, sitting around watching YouTube or doing whatever. And I was like, oh shit, uh, I could use study time too. Cool. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's what I've been doing the past two days. 
Cool. So you, uh, do you have time before the drop off kid times? That's your own thing. Yeah. And that, that varies. I haven't mailed that in cool. yet. Uh, actually normally I'll have like a cup of tea and sit out on the porch for however long it takes to drink the tea. Yeah. So I'll normally do that and then take the girls to school. Yeah. Cool. Well, that 30 minutes after that, it sounds like that's a really like a exercise specifically for you in cultivating that creative brain energy stuff. Yeah. I, f I feel like, uh, my brain and I, I don't like, uh, it's more like straighten up cause cleaning is not the right word. Like I won't do dishes or anything or, but I'll collect all the dishes from the house. And to me, it feels like my brain's crazy enough. Like I got a million things in there and, uh, I don't need a million things all over the house. So like I'll pick up a blanket and like, you know, shake it off and then put it where it goes and, you know, fluff a pillow or something and put all the dishes near the sink. And for some reason to me, that's good enough. That's like, okay, now the house is orderly. Cause like clean and orderly are different. You know, I'm just yeah. like, as long as all the stinky stuff is over there and all the clean stuff is over here, uh, then like that sets me at ease. So that's kind of what I'm doing. And it kind of, to me in my head feels like, like it is a, it is like a pre-morning ritual. Like I'm warming myself up. It feels like I'm creating order in the world. Uh, so I kind of have to do like, a, I'm getting the, the vibe from the music. I'm making my own little space creative and orderly. And then I can start to do something. Well, what are these five things that you're going to spend 95% of your time doing? So a rough, a rough draft of the five things I want to do. Uh, so I don't have any clients, so I'm not going to worry about clients for now, but uh, I do like the, the thought of like doing good work. So uh, it'll be something like uh, practice my skills uh, you know, develop those skills. Uh, it'll be write and record or document. And it, documentation might be closer at this point. Document the things that I'm interested in, uh, the things that, you know, my ideas. Okay, so let me, let me go through this right now. We want to learn necessary skills and practice them. And then I want to write about my ideas and the things I find interesting. I want to take care of myself physically. So that's like getting in shape and stuff. Be present with my friends and family. And then so I have like a fifth thing open that I'm not quite sure what I want to put in there. Uh, it's monetization. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Well, that, that actually is very important. <laughs> oh, I forgot about making money. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I get what you're saying. And uh, I know it's like naive, but I kind of assumed if I got all that other junk <laughs> the way that it should be, like, a, you know, a truck would just pull up every day. Here's your shipment of money. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it, uh, good, good job on keeping your house clean. <laughs> okay, let's go Gilbert's interest. Um, you mentioned that you have kind of a habit of two okay. hours of YouTubing. And in that, there are very likely three to five kind of topic. Yeah. Subjects. Actually, when you said that five topics is kind of what popped up in my head. What are they? Political left and right. Okay. Uh, Dragon ball <laughs> video essays of different sorts. So does do the, what, what's your guy's name? Peterman P Peterson Peterson. Yeah. Does he fit in any one of these categories? Yeah, I mean that actually might just be the fifth 
that could be the fifth category. It's basically anything he's on, I watch. What it, What is that category? Like the science Psycholo- of spirituality? Psychology, uh, philosophy, religion. And then if he is on, you know, someone's webcast or podcast, or if he's on a show with somebody, then I'll probably watch that show as well. And then I'll watch anybody who says anything bad about him so that I can see what the other side of the argument is. How much time do you put into fitness yourself each day? Um, trying to be, well, let's, let's, let's say that. what's your two year goal in fitness for yourself? My two year goal would, depending on what activity I'm doing would be something like, uh, an hour to two hours every day. But so in an hour, I want to, you know, like put on whatever gym clothes, you know, like, uh, so, so you want to be doing fitness one hour every day, two years from now? Yes. Where are you at right now? I'm at about uh, probably 15 okay. or 20 minutes every day. And then what's Dragon Ball? <laughs> uh, Dragon Ball Z, it's an anime. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Japanese cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> so entertainment? Yeah, that's entertainment. I do. I do watch a lot of Dragon Ball. So two years from now, Mm -hmm. how interested will you still be in political left and right? That's a great question. I'm not sure. I've been limiting my intake on that. Uh, I think for me, like I'm really drawn to it. And I I think that uh, I'm drawn to it because I'm trying to, part of me wants to figure out the world. Like I see that conflict there and I want to be like, oh guys, this, that's the whole problem. You just never thought of this. And then, you know, the left side would go, oh yeah. And the right side would go, oh yeah. And then, you know, the country would find a new golden age. Yeah. So like, I don't, so in two years, I don't know. I've already started limiting uh, my consumption of it because a lot of it is real open-ended and we'll never have an answer. And a lot of it uh, is stuff that makes me angry or uh, emotional or worried or anxious. So a lot of that is kind of sapping my strength. So, you know, if I, if I, if I watch, you know, like a six minute um, Dragon Ball clip, I'm just like, yeah, cartoons, colors. Uh, if I watch like a six minute political debate off of like CNN or something, like I'll just, like I, it won't stop turning around in my head. So, so it sounds like, so it sounds like it would crush your soul if that's the only thing that you wrote about and talked about for your life. Yeah. Yeah, it would. Okay. Uh, Dragon Ball two years from now, how interested much do you think you'll be involved in that? Uh, I'll watch Dragon Ball until it's over or I die. Okay. One of those two things. <laughs> and then philosophy of religion? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, in two years, I would like to be a lot further in my understanding and development of my own ideas very likely one to two hours a day, two years from now, you would enjoy still learning and expressing religious philosophies. Yes. And political. So yeah, it's all kind of a a mix. They're all circle around each other. Yeah. Cause, it, uh, it is holistic. Yes. There you go. I'm trying to think of the word. And not segmented. Yeah. Uh, video essays. What do you think two years from now there? I'll be spending a lot of time making video essays. One to two hours a day. Doesn't sound like enough. <laughs> Have you made any yet? I haven't. I'm getting the pieces together. 
to make some. So I'm really starting at zero there. Okay. Uh, so what, what, what are the pieces? Like you need to write a script and then uh -huh. you create. I need to do a voiceover. I need to create the images on the screen. Uh, words, voiceover, and images, and then the ability to put them together. So those would be the four things. Okay, cool. So words, voiceover, images, and editing. You already have writing as a, it's effortless, and it is an asset that Gilbert already attains. Is that accurate? Yes. With the caveat that the writing is the easy part, the getting to the place where I don't feel anxious about writing is the hard part. So that's like the whole morning routine, like, you know, getting myself to the place where I can be like, okay, now I'll just, and then, you know, once the, once the click hack starts, like, you know, I can go for an hour or two real easy. Have you read or listened to The War of Art? I haven't yet. Okay. Do you have it? No. You need to, I need to find it somewhere. Yes. I might torn it. Uh, or I might buy a Lily. The, the audio version is, uh -huh. it's only like maybe three and a half hours, four hours at the most. Mm -hmm. um, it is incredible. So assets Gilbert has are words once he starts. And then and crickets. <laughs> Say your roadblock one more time on the... Getting, getting to the point where I can do something. And that's actually something uh, my meditation helps me out with a lot. So we, we've talked before how I think that there's a difference between thoughts and beliefs and that beliefs are deeper. My old beliefs that I'm working through is just like I'm not worth it. Uh, I don't have good ideas, why should I get to do the things that I'm interested in and like make money? Like why should I get to be able to make videos? So it's hard to even get down at the, get to the computer to start to make the video because I think why well, even bother, you're not worth it, right? So the, the meditation, and uh, helps me to look at those things at face value. And I've been working through my belief that like, you know, I can actually do it. You know, like, oh, I can be happy. I do deserve happiness, that sort of thing. Yeah. It's a, it's a tough transition. Yeah. And I like that. Uh, difference in beliefs and thoughts. So going from your head to your heart. Yeah, yeah. And it's a tough transition. Well, in your four things that you want to be five mm -hmm. is practice skills, write, record, document. And I mean, the skill is words. It fits in for your long-term strategy of long-term desire of video essays. It fits in with your long-term uh, two years from now, Phyllis, uh, sharing, expressing your thoughts and beliefs on the philosophical, religion, holistic, political stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's an incredible place to an incredible thing to dial in between now and Christmas and make that word machine awesome word machine. for nice. 2019. Yeah. I really think your two years is defined video essays about philosophy of religion and politics and pop culture stuff. I mean, I think that as long as you enjoy the video creation process, um, and we, we don't know that yet because you haven't done it yet, but I think that that fits total, totally in with Gilbert's interest, Gilbert's desires, Gilbert's passions. 
and that'd be a lot of fun. That's funny that you said video essays about philosophy of religion using pop culture slash movies. It's like, huh, that sounds really fun. <laughs> uh, sorry, I guess you had not seen that yet. Yeah, no. Uh, no, it's yeah. Ext- extremely clear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah. Send me a picture of that. Okay. <clears throat> I'll need it. Are you ready to get gigs like VA gigs and stuff like that this week? Is that a desire? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, it's the easiest thing in the world to sell at local networking things. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 15 bucks an hour all day long. Hmm. Social media blogs. I mean, you, you literally show up and I, I'd, I'd niche down to like be as specific as possible. Say yeah. I, I do this for local businesses. So write email newsletters, write Facebook post or social media post, write blog content is not on a lot of their radar. So I wouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, but, or maybe like two things, but the more specific you are, they will be like, Oh, I need that. Yeah. Does that make sense? Other yeah. Than, They're like, Oh, that is the actual thing that I need to do this week. Yes. So not, I'm a virtual assistant for hire, mm-hmm. okay? but I do this for local businesses, uh, all day long. Okay. And networking today. Well, I mean, you, you can go for three weeks at networking today without paying any money. Mm-hmm. Um, you can go two weeks at mob without paying any money, but, and mob also has eight, 12 groups that you can do two times per group before you have to pay any money. Cool. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, B and I like 12 times really. Yeah, absolutely. B and I, the exact same thing, uh, 10, 12 groups, two times each group before you have to pay any money. So, I mean, you, you can get probably eight clients in two weeks Mm -hmm. all for free showing up at these network things. And I do social media and email marketing, email newsletters, because they're not there. Nobody likes marketing email newsletters and and social, social media post or whatever figure out the words Mm -hmm. and you're, you're hired. I like the whole newsletter thing. Like, uh, it's, it's gay and it's dumb and it's the wrong way to be, but that's uh the only thing that they want to do. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's like, Oh yeah. Newsletter. I understand. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Not like this crazy stuff over here. Yeah. Doing it for someone else. Well, one, you have a deadline that you have to work against. Mm -hmm. Uh, to you have to polish up your skills real fast yeah. and you shorten your learning curve incredibly fast by doing things for other people. Yeah. It's kind of like, it feels very new in my head, all this stuff, you know, even though we've been talking about it, uh, it's like talking about Corvettes or something. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm mildly interested. And now it's like, oh, I'm at the dealership. And it's like, well, maybe. Cool, man. Well, excited that your 2018 has brought you to much self-awareness, much more. Um, I am ready and willing to put in the work to move forward mm-hmm. than any other time in your life. Yeah. And that is a baller place to be at. Well, thanks for journeying on your preferable life you carving out yours you are going to nail it going to actualize it and for sharing with us that process yeah and this encouraged you give gilbert a thumbs up give him a rahu hoorah uh-huh yeah gonna, hoorah that's the right order yeah. hoorah mm-hmm. he's gonna actualize and live it out and yeah you can too And we'll catch you on the next one.